the center bigger with a new launch date. Mod interface systems overhaul. And survival of the fittest. Is it gone or not forgotten? You're right, kids. It's Ras Clark, and welcome to your regular ARC community news. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share around, and let's get into it. Wow! After Scorched Earth's release at the start of this week, nobody saw this one coming. The center has been given a release date after, you know, that massive delay we had a while back there at the start of March, and seems it's going to be given quite a giant overhaul. As the devs say, mark your calendars because on June the 3rd, we're releasing the center with Shastasaurus. It is now returning to this map. If you don't remember, it was cancelled, originally planned to drop the Giganto Raptor with the center, which then with the center delay got this to drop on the island with some concept work shown of what to expect from this a short while ago as well as what's setting up to be quite an incredible saddle a submarine saddle that seems to be able to house you creatures and the ability to fire torpedoes the devs go on to say though that this free expansion is like a whole new arc world double the size double which i can only assume does mean that this map that we know in arc survival evolved the very first mud map that dropped to it is going to be that times two how why what questions can't wait it's getting me a bit excited though certainly with a glimmer of concern with that first delay if you forgot wildcard explained that their partners were working on the center in some compensation for the scorched earth delay and it seems they didn't meet their expectations and that's why it was pushed back to wow june quite a delay indeed did expect a long delay in june to be fair when you consider scorched earth has only just dropped now in april two months away it's not too bad that's not a too bad release date window at all and hopefully wildcard do meet this one looking at the artwork it does seem a bit different a much more junglier vibe than the center we known before with the odd placements straight away looking a bit different i wonder whether it's just some creative control surrounding this artwork with green obs placement looking about right blue up definitely not where it used to be in ase but if it's double the size surely that would be much further away i'm putting this down to perhaps just an artwork feature shot but it looks so much more overgrown prehistoric in the background here we can't see too much from this apart from the floating islands that we've known from ase a few pts flying about but i just i love the overgrown vibe that i'm getting from this feeling like i'm going to be thrown into jurassic park what's curious though is the devs mention gorgeous tolkien fantasy feel which tolkien is of course lord of the rings the hobbit and the center never really gave me those vibes i'd say for order definitely tickled those taste buds but it does make me wonder what integration influence are we going to find with this extended improved version of the center and is it really double the size and that opens a question to if they're going to do it with this what other maps might have some serious expansion to them the devs went on to say the team are split up fixing scorched earth bugs working on their upcoming free aberration expansion but the main force is working on getting the center to us for june the third i'm a massive fan of this map it's one of my favorite maps of all time so as you might know i was super super disappointed when this was cancelled uh, a month ago or so so fingers crossed double the size and now with the shastasaurus this could be set up to be a great map indeed and hopefully offer a new precedent on map releases i know i kind of theorized a new delayed structure of maps with expectations to see them when we get actual legit arcs in real life but if we're going to get the center in two months perhaps we will see more maps drops in shorter spaces of time moving forward again the center is a free expansion map as far as we know so sotif survival of the fittest i saw a meme doing the rounds when we got the scorched earth update that well on the main menu it's gone 
the option there to play survival of the fittest is no longer existing if you wish to with me originally thinking is that it is so tiff cancelled have they given up on it is that the end of it and strangely considering jeremy's very recent post saying there's a lot more to survival of the fittest to come made me wonder what the hell is going on but it seems so tiff is still available to play via the official server list though i'm perhaps even more concerned now harder to find within the official server menu ui system that well, look at this. Nobody's playing it. Is it a lack of confidence and a way to phase out Survivor of the Fittest again? Or is it the team putting this just a bit more hidden away until they've got the time to focus on improving what this is what they want it to be? With Jeremy's tweet combined with this, it's a very wondrous, curious place indeed. I do hope it's not been abandoned. I do think it's got so much potential and maybe the latter is their plan for this we'll have to wait and see but no need to worry there are more and more new gameplay changing features in the delivery of mods for Ark Survival Ascended Garuga just released this crazy weird monstrosity the I hope I'm pronouncing this right Anomalacoris I don't know man a premium mod another premium mod to add to the roster of mods available to Ark Survival Ascended with a brand new UI overhaul to seemingly feature different mods I'm guessing the winners from the very recent Curse Forge competition and they brought in a great feature that I was very concerned about me and Jay talked about this in length on his channel uh, last Sunday where with more premium mods coming there definitely needed to be a rating system and they did it they offered it any mod out there now will have a rating system for you to get an idea of is it worth it is the community is the people purchasing or downloading these mods enjoying it at all with some questionable concerns on what counts as overwhelmingly positive but this is a great step in the right direction especially for these premium mods so i know you know if these are worth it right it certainly feels like the era of mods are beginning to flourish and they're going to come hard thick and fast over the next few months i think that that gap we had between the island and scorched earth where everything felt a bit stagnant may be a thing of the past and more content is coming obviously recently we got to play survive the night really enjoyed that and more mods are continuing to drop including our own mods monarchy season five is now running i'm sure you've caught a stream or two and big shout out to wildcard for shouting out the entire list of creators that are getting involved with this i'll have all of them in the description trying to adopt some new interest and competitive features i hope you continue to enjoy this and look forward to your feedback on this one as time ticks on as we head and look towards center and speaking of feedback i'd love to hear from you about scorched earth's release what you how you feel about this do you feel it was delivered pretty well for me pretty solid it landed on time hasn't been that buggy at all for me not many crashes seen or here there were a few issues with transfers especially for the first few hours back then and the majority of feedback that i've seen seems to suggest that we're all loving this new upgraded visual perspective of this map called scorched earth and i've got to say wildcard handled the dlc better than i expected i was really concerned of a pay to win experience there with the oasis saw but the oasis saw doesn't seem that op at least from my perspective and the way it functions surprised to see that you can play alongside other people who own the dlc and sort of use their items and structures even if you don't own them though most of them you can't spawn in unless you own the dlc the trains are seemingly super cool i look forward to seeing much more about what people are going to do with the trains yeah i think it's balanced enough it's not as pay to win as i first thought i think there's a decent balance there but as time ticks on maybe more cracks will show and again i'd love to hear your feedback about this one too and now we await the center june the 3rd is it going to land on this date i am very very excited to see this one especially if it's double the size oh can't wait can you comment below until the next one my name is ross clark don't forget to like share and subscribe and as always up oh, peace out oh.